Hello, producer, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, overcast and still spaced out today for the Taurus as the moon does continue in Capricorn and Earth sign just like you. And it does mean that Tauruses today are really processing their emotions and how they feel about certain things, particularly intimacy. Let's zip over to that. Now, last week I talked about Pluto leaving Sagittarius for good. That's good. You got the nice fork in the road, and the fork for every Taurus really was, are you going to trust or not trust? And that trust really starts with you, and then that turns into intimacy and trusting the world. So now that you know whether or not you can trust yourself, it's time to move forward with that trust and build some good walls and get some good policies about intimacy. Now, in Chapter 2 of Sun and Sagittarius, or any second chapter of any transit, it's the experimentation chapter. So this would be an excellent time for those of you who are in intimate relationships now to experiment with that intimacy, experiment with the trust, change the way you do those sorts of things, and change the behavior around those circumstances. When it comes to speaking up and trusting the world, things like that, it's time to now experiment with what you can do and what you can't do, what's appropriate, what is not appropriate. We want to build, now that Pluto's done destroying, we want to build some healthy boundaries that will keep you good for the rest of your life. Now, on top of that, which I think goes hand in hand, the moon is in Capricorn, so emotionally you are philosophical about your feelings, like I said, probably about where you can trust and you can't trust, but Jupiter and Venus are conjuncting in Capricorn. Now, Capricorn for you is the way you believe. You know, that's why Tauruses are so stubborn. They're Capricorns, very controlling when it comes to what they believe in. But Pluto has just shown up to the scene, which tells me every Taurus on Earth is going to rewrite their entire belief structure in the next 16 years. Before that happens, though, we've got Venus and Jupiter working for you until the end of the year, and they're conjuncting in the next 10 days. So that means real creative belief structure breakthrough potential for Taurus. If there's a book that's been sitting on that side table that you haven't read, you might want to pick it up. You have a lot of potential breakthrough in your beliefs, and I think it will aid completely all this belief structure work you're doing as it relates to intimacy. All right, Taurus, that's a mouthful for Monday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So